Hey guys, it's Nitin here with the Ultimate Ebook Creator, and in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a recipe book from scratch. Take that recipe book and view it or review it using the Kindle Desktop Viewer, and then I'll also upload the same recipe book on my wife's Kindle Fire to show you exactly how it looks on the Kindle Fire and then finally I'm going to take the same file which will be in Mobi format and go through the process of publishing that book right on Amazon KDP. So we have a lot to cover so let's get started. Okay, so before we get into showing you how to create the recipe book in the Ultimate Ebook Creator, I wanted to quickly show you because I'm really excited um, that uh, collectively now um, I have over 3,000 customers and between them they have created over 3,000 ebooks on Amazon Kindle and other platforms but mainly Amazon Kindle and I just wanted to show you some of the books that they have created okay so these are the books and as you can see you know there are some uh, some of the customers have created multiple books and then some some of them have more than one book and some people have just one book so here's a list obviously you know, I'm not going to show you all 3,000 because I um, don't really have the time to to put together a web page with 3,000. But you can see here that there's there's about 60 books that I've I've put put down, and I will add uh, many more uh, as we go along. But I just wanted to quickly show you that um, yeah, if you're thinking. You know, if you're in two minds, if you think that the ultimate ebook creator, you know, can it create comic books? Yes. Can it create fiction, non-fiction, poetry books, a fixed, a fixed layout, any type of book you want to create on Amazon, um, the UEC uh, or the ultimate ebook creator will will let you do that. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll go back to our. Um, uh, tutorial on creating the recipe book. So first of all, before I start creating the recipe book, um, I just want to show you some basics of the Ultimate Ebook Creator and establish a baseline so we all understand the terminology. Okay, so this is the Ultimate Ebook Creator and this is the main screen. And now the screen is actually split up into two windows, okay? The left window, it's which I call the navigation uh, window, where it lets you actually navigate from one element to the other, like this. And then this is this is actually where we are going to build our chapters and our sections, okay? And we have some default information that we also have to fill out. And then on the right hand side, you will see the detail screen, which is. Uh, which is related to the item that we select on the left hand side. So for example here we see uh, for the book information we see the detail screen for the book information and then when we go to the cover page it will tell you that you need to browse and select a cover image and then the title page so here we'll define our title page and our copyright information and then we come to the table of contents which is really uh, a view where you can kind of uh, you know uh, put some style to your table of contents and as you will see as we're going through this video that the table of contents is actually built automatically as you add the chapters and sections in this in this left hand navigation okay and one more terminology you need to know is that chapter is uh, created uh, as a main chapter and then underneath the chapter we have what I call a section okay so basically we can create a two level deep uh, content um, that will show up as two levels in the table of contents so the concept is we add a chapter 
and then under that chapter we can add multiple sections so you can add as many sections as you want uh, under a chapter okay and you can add as many chapters as you want okay so we are going to create three recipes in this recipe book which is just a sample recipe book and hopefully between the three recipes I'll be able to demonstrate a lot of the formatting features that are available in the ultimate ebook creator now there's a whole bunch of other formatting that you can do but just keep the video short um, I'm gonna focus on the main formatting that you will probably be doing uh, throughout creating an ebook okay so we, we're gonna go through the main options now what I've done is I have gone to a website called all recipes okay and I'm not stealing any of these recipes as you well know it's you know you shouldn't be taking recipes for your own but for demonstration purposes this will be just fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, create a, a recipe book with three recipes like I said the first will be a breakfast and then we'll go to a main course and then we'll do a dessert so here we've got our breakfast recipe and by the way I've tried we've tried all these recipes uh, or I should say my wife has made all these recipes and they do work so I do recommend all recipes .ca is a really good website with some really nice recipes so this will be the main course and then we'll go into the dessert which is my favorite <laughs> extreme chocolate cake who doesn't like this alright so we'll start with the um, the broccoli or the easy broccoli quiche right and we're gonna go really simple on this recipe and then I'll show you some advanced techniques that enable you to kinda of create this kind of formatting and things like that okay but for the first one let's just go really simple and then we'll see how it goes so let's go back to the ultimate ebook creator so the ultimate ebook creator um, has the concept of a project so each ebook that you you create you are gonna create a project and then that project will be exported to a Mobi file for Amazon Kindle or an EPUB or a, a Word file or a PDF okay so there are various options here as of this video we have all these options and um, you can output so the concept is that you create a new project here and then once you finish with the project you make sure you save everything so you can go back to the project and then you do the final rendering which I call the export so you export to Amazon Kindle Mobi or EPUB etc etc okay so we'll say file new and if it asks you you know save changes obviously we haven't done anything we'll click no and the first thing we're gonna type in is Prabha that's my wife's name Prabha's recipe book All right and just to keep things short and sweet what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and put the description in here okay the next one is the language we will keep it at English US but if you click this button there are lots of other languages that you can choose from we will cancel and then for the author I'm just gonna type in Prabha and for the publisher now a lot of people use alias names so here you can type in exact you know whatever you want but that's what I'm gonna do and for here you can type in a number of um, keywords one per line so I'm gonna call it you know re food recipe recipe ebook etc etc okay so once you've filled out your meta information we can click save pra, pra recipe book right and by default it's going to give it the dot uec f uh, extension which is the special extension for the ultimate ebook project file okay and here we've created it and we've saved it so that's something that you might need to get into you know basically you do some work and then make sure you save it um, now for the cover page we'll click on cover page and let's just go browse and um, we'll look at um, let me just go and see I think I do have a cover page here okay here's my cover page 
I'll click open and um, now here the ultimate ebook creator doesn't actually uh, resize this image it's just showing you a thumbnail a thumbnail of whatever whatever it is and as of this video amazon recommends um anything from 1000 to 2500 on the longest side and whatever the uh, width comes out maintaining the aspect ratio of uh, you know like this will be 2 to 3 aspect ratio then uh, that would be fine so it wouldn't it won't look squished on the uh, the actual physical device okay so here's a, an image uh, that I've created myself and the picture was taken in Italy on the Amalfi Coast and here's my wife um, uh, so this is the cover page now for the title page a lot of people you know like type in the copyright information and things like that what I've given you is actually um, I've given you several samples that you can use so if you go into insert and then go to sample copyright text um, this dialog pops up let me bring it into view okay and then this basically gives you uh, various samples that you can use for the various types of books and what you can do is here's my default but you can override it right so if you ch have this checked it will overwrite with whatever we have um, at this moment I'm not going to do that so I'll just cancel here and we'll go with the basic and obviously you'll t you'll type in your author name and stuff like that um, I'm not going to worry too much about this for now but I think you get the idea okay so once you've done that notice how I'm, I keep saving I think that's a really good practice to get into and and also if you don't want to call this title uh, title page you can you know you can change it and co call it copyright or whatever you want to call it okay and then it, it actually changes here so this is what will show up in the table of contents and you can also hide this page from the table of contents by unchecking this okay alright so we'll just call it title page like we did before okay and we'll come back to the table of contents but for now let's move on to actually creating the re recipes okay so what we need to do is in this area we need to right click and then select add chapter okay so this title is really the title in the table of contents okay so what do we want to call it so let's call it um, breakfast okay for breakfast recipes and once again this checkbox will enable it to be shown in the table of contents so I'll we'll leave it on and we'll click OK alright so now we are actually into the content area for breakfast okay but we are not going to type in anything but basically you can uh, you can give it a title just like you do in Word and what we are going to do is we are going to highlight this and go to format and then style and then select heading 1 as the style of our uh, title and here you can you can actually uh, put in some information like this is um, or I can say here are all my favorite for it um, I didn't spell that right okay right click favorite recipes oh and by the way um, the ultimate ebook creator comes with a really powerful spell checker that handles over 85 languages and I do have a video uh, specially detailed that walks you through how to set up languages okay so I won't be doing that in this video of course but anyway here are all my recipes that I enjoy for breakfast something like that okay so what I want to do is this is the main chapter so under the chapter I would normally have all the breakfast recipes so what you want to do is you want to click on the breakfast chapter right click and then select add section so we are now going to add our recipe that's coming from here so it's called easy easy broccoli quiche okay so I'm gonna copy that 
and I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste that in and yes once again I want to show in the table of contents and here I do want to insert a page break because I want each section to be complete in itself right and I want the the um, the recipe to show up as the first on the page okay so I always have this uh, turned on click OK and now as you can see we have the section under the breakfast okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to type in the um, uh, the title of the uh, of the recipe um, all right and we are now going to for this particular recipe what I want to do is um, I've actually downloaded this image so I can show you how to do an insert of an Im image okay so we are going to insert the image right here so what we can do is you can either go insert and then image or you can go right click here and you can say insert and then you can uh, you can select image. You can't actually see this because it's outside the recording area. So what I'll do is I'll just select this so you can see. Okay. So now here what we have is um, the dialog box. You can select um, your image. So we're going to select this image. Now I pre-downloaded this image. Okay. So I can select this image. I'll click open okay so here is my image oh and by the way we want to be able to set the style on this title to be heading 2 okay so we'll go select style heading 2 and now we have a style for the um, the recipe in the uh, section okay now one more important thing to do since we inserted from an external file it's really really important for you to do the following step which is this you right click on the image you go to format and then in this dialog we need to make sure that we have in the savings options we have embed data in document not this one embed original file reference we do not want to do that we actually want to do this okay so if you insert make sure that you go into this uh, into this option and select embed data in document okay or else you will not get this image coming out in the final export okay great alright so we're we're getting there so we have a easy broccoli uh, quiche and now what we want to do is we want to add the ingredients okay so we want to add the ingredients so we can um, put the cursor here and then I'm going to go back to this um, site and here are the ingredients okay so we'll highlight this we'll right click say copy and then now once again you can actually type this in but I'm just showing you really quickly that you can do this and over here like see you have two options formatted text and unformatted now I highly highly recommend that if you copy anything from places like the internet you know I should say the browser or MS Word or a PDF document anything which is formatted please do not import it or paste it in format it because you will bring in junk characters and it will bloat your ebook and um, it'll, it's just not going to look right and it's going to be bigger than it really needs to be so for a high quality book I would recommend that you either type in everything from scratch or you put it into a notepad and then bring it into here or you select this option which is unformatted text so um, this editor actually strips out all the formatting because really we want to do the formatting inside this uh, product okay we don't want to bring in the formatting which also brings in junk characters okay so that's something that you really need to remember alright so we will be formatting this later on um, what I normally do is I bring in all my text first so um, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna also bring in this um, this I'm gonna say control C I'm gonna bring in this and I'm gonna say this is my tagline and um, 
see what I did was I did a control V which I shouldn't have actually done what I should have done was select unformatted text so see I even made that mistake <laughs> yes I do make mistakes alright so I'm gonna now highlight this control copy and then I'm gonna bring it into here I'm gonna say paste unformatted okay so that's that brought in pieces here okay so I'm gonna bring in the other pieces okay there you go so these are the ingredients now one more thing in this mode you'll see that um, you'll see several pages so the page is defined but in in an ebook really the concept of a page is not there um, an ebook is more like a browser page what they call flow text which means that there is no page everything flows but in the ultimate ebook creator this editor actually shows a page layout if you want to see um, it more in the style of the ebook all you need to do is go to view and then select uh, draft mode okay so in draft mode you'll just see the page scroll alright but I prefer this view so I'll stick to this okay so that is my ingredients done now the next thing is to bring in the directions so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this like this copy go back to the ultimate ebook creator and paste and format it like I did before and let me just get a little bit more real estate if I can over here okay so for this one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into draft mode so I can see everything all in one place okay now this one is fine and what I need to do is I just need to kind of clean this up and here just need to clean this and this okay so that is the recipe okay great and now for the formatting what I want to do is I want to actually go in now and you know kind of give the give a little bit of formatting so for the ingredients I'm gonna highlight it then give it a bold okay and um, I'm gonna change all my font to Arial okay now why I've done Arial is because Amazon prefers you to stick to true type fonts and they really recommend Arial 12 so that's what I'm gonna do now you can pick anything as long as it's a true type font um, you should you'd be good to go now if you select a font which is not true type or not supported by Amazon well the I should say the Kindle the Kindle device then it will default to the uh, default font on that device okay but I would recommend that you stay with uh, Arial 12 as much as you can alright so now what we're gonna do is we can actually bullet this so we highlight the ingredients and then we'll click on the bullet uh, option right here okay so we have the bullets now so we have our ingredients original recipe now here we can actually make this 10 if you wish okay so it looks smaller than this alright and then we've got our ingredients okay and then with for the directions again we're just gonna highlight this and bold it so it gives it a little bit of a title and then here are the directions okay so that's one recipe done we are going to click um, we are going to click on the save to save our recipe and here is our recipe okay so that's our first recipe done okay so now let's move on to the second recipe which is the main course so once again we are going to create a chapter called main course okay so main course like this click OK and here's our main course now under the main course we are going to create a section called chicken pot pie so chicken pot 
NumPy. And we'll make sure we insert a page break. We'll click OK. All right. So now we have our chicken pot pie. Now, in the table of contents, you can call it whatever you want. So if you want to change this table of contents to say something else, you can type in whatever you want. And then here, we can say chicken pot pie, chicken pot pie, or you can call it, you know, recipe. recipe. <coughs> which means the title on the page is different from the title in the table of contents I wouldn't recommend you do that but there are some customers that actually want this um, want this type of behavior so that's why we have that okay so we have the chicken pot pie now in this particular one I want to show you a different technique okay so I'm gonna remove this because what I want to show you is something really cool that you can do so let's go to our chicken pot pie recipe and I actually want to put in the image like this and then I want to show you how you can actually type in the title which is next to the image like this right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this image and I'm gonna say copy image all right then I'm gonna go to UEC or the ultimate ebook creator and right at the top I'm gonna to make sure that I am actually at the top and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say paste and then I'm gonna say image okay now here so here's my image pasted now here what I need to do is I need to go into the options for this so I will highlight right click format and then here I want to make sure that I select this one which is square okay I need to make sure that I select this option for the wrapping style okay once I've done that and the other thing is make sure go to saving options now if you do a copy and paste by default it will be embedded but just make sure that that's the option that's selected click OK and now what we can do is we can go back to our recipe we can highlight this copy and then here what we can do is we can say paste and you can't see but I'm gonna select unformatted text and here we go okay so right now this thing is really stuck right up against the image and what I want is I want a little bit of a gap okay so what you need to do is you need to click on the image highlight go to formatting and then here we go to size and distances and what we want to do is we'll set a size on the right of five millimeters okay we'll click OK and see now you've got this little gap so that's great now what we want to do is we want to go right to the bottom and we want to start typing in our recipe so we will basically go down to the ingredients once again what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to create this recipe that looks exactly like this for the ingredients so I want two I want a two column ingredient um, section here so once again I'm going to just highlight all this okay ingredients no, let, let's just type it in this time, okay? So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to type in, um, let me just say ingredients. And then I'm going to type in um, the uh, tagline. What is the tagline? The tagline was original recipe 9 inch, 1 to 9 inches copy. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say unformatted paste okay now what I'm gonna do here is I need a two column so I'm gonna use a table okay so I'm gonna go up to um, go up to table insert table and then I'm gonna select this table okay now here what we want is we want two columns so I'll type in two and the number of rows what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in one okay because I just want one one after the other and I want to use bullets so I'll just type in this and I'll click OK 
All right. Now, as you can see here, when we render this, this is really the border is actually um, hidden. Okay, so this is a hidden border which is like a light gray, but you can actually give it a border a style, but we're not going to be doing that in this uh, particular recipe. Now we'll just go back here and I'm going to select the first. I'm going to say copy. And now I'm going to go here and I'm going to say paste, unformat it. Okay. Now what's happened here is you can see it split over two pages okay so I'm gonna go back into my draft mode right so I can see everything now here what I'm gonna do is this I'll show you what I'm gonna do I am going to first of all highlight the whole recipe and then I'm gonna go into format then paragraph and see this line spacing I'm gonna make it into single first so that's the first thing I want to do and then I want to change this to Arial <coughs> okay and the other one once again we're gonna highlight copy come in here we're gonna say unformatted text paste and we get all these spaces we'll highlight right click and you can say paragraph here we'll say line spacing is single we'll click OK and once again all we're gonna do is we're just going to remove the um, the double lines and here's another double line here and here okay so now we have it in the two format what we want to do is I'm just gonna move this up and see if I can actually um, get this on a single line if you can it's okay um, not to worry um, this is Arial this is actually Calibri so I'm gonna highlight this and change this to Arial and what I will do is I'm gonna make this 10 okay and I'm gonna make this 10 as well so I'll highlight and I'll say 10 now now it actually fits on and it looks pretty decent I would say so to put the bullets we just highlight and click on bullets all right, and we'll do the same thing right here too. Okay, so we've got our two column recipes. All right, on to the next, which is the directions. Once again, we'll go to our all recipes page and we'll pick out the directions here. Now over here, if you've noticed, they've got the numbering and then they've got this we can do the same thing all we need to do is use the bullet which is numbering bullets and um, and in the next recipe we'll try and attempt to do this block for for now um, we'll just keep this very simple okay uh, right click copy we'll go back here we are going to right click and paste unformatted and um, just basically remove these bases now some people actually like that indentation um, I don't think it's required for recipe books so we'll remove that and if you want to actually put the um, the if you want to number them then you highlight and basically select this option which is numbering bullets okay so that's numbered like this looks quite nice and that's your second recipe done now in this recipe what what I'm gonna do is something really cool um, I'm just gonna call this reviews okay and we're gonna come back to this customer reviews and we are going to come back to this but for now we're just gonna call it customer reviews and you'll find out why um, 
very shortly. So here's the second recipe. Oh, and one more thing. We forgot to do our formatting for the ingredients, which is Arial 12, Arial, and then here we are going to format the style as heading 2. Okay, so chicken pot pie, and this this one we will format like this and I think I did make it 10 alright so we have our ingredients here in a table our directions and I spot that in correctly so I'll just do this and here's our recipe and what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a link to customer reviews but we'll come back to this in a second and once I've done that I'm going to click on save again or I can even go file save click OK and now let's move on to the next recipe okay so for our final recipe we are going to create a desserts chapter so once again right click and say add chapter desserts and then under desserts we are going to select or oh, sorry add a section called um, what is it called it's called extreme chocolate cake okay extreme chocolate cake alright we're going to paste this in once again make sure we insert a page break we'll click OK alright so in our extreme chocolate cake let's go back to page layout extreme chocolate cake we're gonna go and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna do something slightly different in the um, the method section or direction section so let me go ahead and add this like I did before okay so I'm gonna right click on this oops I think I did something I clicked on it alright so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say copy image I'm going to go here and I'm going to say paste image alright and I'm going to make sure that our text wrapping is square so you can either do it this way or you can go into format and make sure that the wrapping is square like this okay click OK and then once again here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in oh, let me just copy and paste easier okay and once again I'm gonna go into the size and distance and set the um, the right margin to be five <clears throat> now if you press it, your your enter key several times you'll actually come down here and in ingredients and I'm um, gonna do basically a similar thing now over here we can even put in this information here so let's just try that too and you'll see that it looks pretty good so I'll come back up here and then I'll just put in a couple of lines and then I'm gonna say unformatted so we'll see this come up here butter cream and um, we can highlight this and we can make it italic we're going to leave this as, as Calibri this time okay so um, format here set style heading 2 okay so that's done see that looks pretty decent and now here I'm just going to um, put in the um, Okay, I'm going to go through this fairly fast now because we've done this several times. Okay, and um, once again, this time I'm just going to put in the uh, ingredients like we see them here. Ingredients. I've also put bullet. 
uh, points on it and now next we'll do the directions okay so directions and um, I'm going to do the same thing now here what I want to do is I want to actually put in this information like this so once again what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table with two columns and then within that second column I'm going to create another table so this is a complex table in table scenario which will be um, really cool to see okay so here we go we're going to create a table with two columns and one row right all right and um, in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it into here paste and format it and once again I'm just going to highlight right click paragraph make sure that we've got single line spacing and uh, I'm just gonna remove some of these indentations which you really don't need okay all right now this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this into an Calibri 10 so we get more information on and on this side what I want to do is I want to actually create this second table so all you have to do is basically put your cursor in there and then go to table and say insert table and this time I'm going to create a one column but if you look at here we've got one two three rows okay so let's create three rows this time alright so now we've got our three rows now what we want to do is basically just type in this information okay so I'll paste and format it again and and then it says 30 minutes so let's just type that in we'll say 30 minutes okay and I'm gonna go ahead and do the this one too so I'll highlight the whole thing copy so the main thing here is you know you can see what I'm doing I'm just typing in the text and then I'll format it later on okay unformatted all right so the first one what we have is we have 30 minutes prep okay so 30 is actually highlighted so we're gonna bold that and we are actually gonna make this a lot bigger uh, that's way too big 18 let's try 24 okay so that's looks about right and it says 30 minutes and the prep time okay so the other thing is that we want to center everything so we highlight this we right click and then we'll say um, format table okay and in here we're gonna pick um, what is the thing color background so actually this is the wrong one what I meant to do is I just need to click on this option here which um, formats the uh, the text like this all right on to the next one so we've got cook and then 35 minutes so we've got cook we'll press enter and you've got 35 minutes again so we'll bold that and I believe that was okay that was 24 so we'll make that 24 too all right and the last one we have ready in one hour and five minutes so ready in one hour five minutes once again we're going to highlight make this 24 highlight make this bold and 24 and this is actually a different color so format character going to other and select this 
and that is the um, the font color click OK and do the same thing with the five so format character we are gonna go other click OK and then OK right so it kinda looks similar might not be exactly the same but it looks similar and uh, we can go with this let me just uh, fix up some of the typos here and we're good to go okay that's I, I would say that's pretty decent and you can even put a box around here so let's say um, let's say we won't actually put this box around what we do is we will highlight this table right click go format table and then here we are going to pick this one which is showing the box all the way around like this okay click OK and now you have your box alright so we are looking good now we can just make it a little bit thinner just a little bit move this up and here also what we can do is in this one I want it to actually center it but it's okay we can actually keep it like this we go format and in here do we have uh, line width vertical top alright keep these options okay so I'm kind of playing around with this as I go along but anyway here we are here we go and now we're just going to finish off the formatting and that's great now we're gonna save okay now if you remember in the chicken pot pie we actually had this thing called customer reviews so that's what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do is create some customer reviews so once again I'm gonna create a chapter called review or let, let's just call it customer reviews okay customer reviews and under this I am gonna create a section called uh, chicken pot pie because and I'll just say reviews all right because we can create a section for each of these recipes so if you have like 20 30 recipes we can have reviews for each one of them and we'll click OK and then here we will just go back into page layout and we're gonna call it chick chicken pot pie reviews alright and what we're gonna do is we'll go back to our chicken pot pie recipe and over here we did see reviews so we'll click on reviews and it's gonna bring up reviews here okay so this particular recipe the reviews aren't showing up so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pretend that we have for the let's say the broccoli recipe so let's say we have the reviews for the broccoli recipe okay so um, oh what's going on here okay so here we do have some broccoli reviews so I am just going to do the same thing here I'm going to I'm going to actually remove this or let me rename this so I'll call this um, let me just take this copy I'll put this here I'll paste so now it's become an easy broccoli recipe review copy that and then I'm just gonna paste it here paste and then I'm going to take this rest well whatever this is I'm just gonna take this blurb copy go back and I'm just gonna paste unformatted okay so here is the review for the easy broccoli recipe and uh, once again I'm just going to um, go format 
select style heading 2 click OK alright so here here's another thing I want to demonstrate is that I want to put a second review here so let's go ahead and do that we'll select the second one like this but what I want to do is I actually want to put it onto another page so each one starts with a new page okay so um, what I have here is let me let me go back okay so here I want a new page so what I want to do is I want to and I want to type in control and the enter key right so now I've created a brand new page is here is a brand new page and on that page I'm going to simply type in GB chef okay I should say GB chef okay and that's the guy who gave the recipe uh, the review and then I'm gonna un enter the unformatted and I'll just highlight this okay so here is the rest here is the first one here's the second one now if you want to see the um, the page breaks within a particular section all you have to do is basically go to draft mode and if you scroll down here you'll see this line this line means that you've actually created a hard page break okay so here I'm just gonna type in um, I'm just gonna make up a name okay Jeff Johns okay so Jeff has given a one recipe uh, one review and this chibi chef has given a zero another rest uh, review all right let's click save and now what we want to do is we want to actually put in uh, return okay so we're going to return back to um, the recipe so here we're going to say return okay so here we're going to return back and we're going to return back here return all right so what we're going to do is we we'll go back to easy broccoli recipe and we'll scroll down and what we'll do is here we'll put um, read customer reviews now we'll highlight this by just with the mouse then we'll go to bookmark and we'll say insert link to bookmark okay and in this dialog that pops up basically you have two types of bookmarks the first one is bookmarks within the content that you've set and the other ones are bookmarks to the table of contents here so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, select the bookmark which is this table of contents here easy broccoli quiche so under customer reviews you've got easy broccoli quiche reviews you click that and you click OK so see how this becomes a link now you cannot test this link um, as of this video I'm working on this feature but within the UEC you cannot test it what you will have to do is basically export it to a, a real EPUB or a movie file or a, a word or PDF and then the links will work okay so this will join this will when clicked will jump to this and now we need a way of getting back right so that's why we have the return so we are going to highlight the return go to bookmark insert link to bookmark and we are going back to the easy broccoli recipe okay so easy broccoli recipe click OK and the same thing down here we highlight insert link to bookmark go to table of content items and easy broccoli quiche and that's it click save to save and there you go basically we have completed the complete um, well sample book I should say and on the way you know we, sh we saw a whole bunch of formatting things that you can do with this I mean there's a whole other options here for header footer and things like that unfortunately headers and footers don't work very well uh, in ebooks but they do um, 
they're relevant for physical books but that's another story okay and we've got tabs and we've got I mean we've got a lot of uh, options here okay and you can even insert symbols in here and things like that okay so now that we've finished this what we're gonna do is that we are going to render this file as a Mobi file and then we're gonna uh, view it in the Kindle uh, desktop viewer which is a software desktop application all right okay so let's go ahead and export this file to a Mobi file so we can actually um, view it in the Mobi desktop viewer so Prava recipe book we'll click save and um, as you can see I've already done that so I'll overwrite so here is creating our ebook and here it's showing the progress okay so it's doing some crunching and uh, while it's doing that we'll just wait alright so now that we're done we'll click OK and we are going to go to the um, the folder alright so let's go to the folder okay so here is my folder and I'm actually making this video as we talk so here is the Mobi file now I've already installed the Kindle desktop viewer and if you guys haven't done that then basically all you need to do is go to Google and I'm gonna type in Kindle so here we are Kindle desktop reader and this link over here so here is the application all you need to do is basically download and install the app okay so in Google just type in Kindle desktop reader and you basically get to this site alright so once you've done that basically you will once you've rendered it this is your file we'll double click on it and here is the Kindle desktop viewer okay so here is the Kindle desktop viewer now as you can see you can actually size this and it does flow the text correctly alright so I'm gonna try and make it as big as I can so you guys can see this alright so here is our book this is our, our copyright page and if we go back one here is our cover page alright so if we go one next then we see our table of contents alright so this is the table of contents that we created and then we go to the breakfast so we see the breakfast section and now we see our broccoli recipe here really nicely laid out look look how nicely it's laid out now you can actually make this small and it will flow properly but it is jittery but let me just see see the bullets come out nicely the directions everything is nice now over here we can click on customer reviews like we saw right so we click on that we go to the customer reviews and we can always return back or we can go down now remember I put a, a hard break on the section after this so that's why the second um, review shows up on its own page now we can click here to return and we return back to the to the broccoli recipe now we'll click next and next and now we've got the chicken pot pie now here we see that the, we have a nice title on the right hand side with a little image and see the recipe is actually um, nicely done now what I'm going to do is let me just put this out so you can see and I'll scroll this down a bit hopefully you can see that so see the the um, this is the main thing here see it's come out as a two column recipe uh, ingredient section alright and um, if we go next and next now we come to the uh, the chocolate recipe and here look at this look at this look at the formatting of this isn't that cool isn't that good so this is the kind of formatting you can do okay so that is that is the um, so we've reviewed this in this um, 
uh, in the Kindle desktop viewer. Now there is one caveat. Okay, if you want to keep reviewing, if you if you make changes, so you go back here, you make a change, then you re-export, and then you want to see it back in here. Well, there is one trick you must must do. Okay, you cannot, um, it, you won't see the latest changes if you don't do this. So what you want to do is, um, if you want to review a second change, you first want to open up this, then you go to library. And then you now find that book that you want to review that you're reviewing okay so here's the book and you want to right click and you want to delete this book okay you want to delete now if you don't delete you will not see the new changes because this program caches the book all right so you know just delete it then you uh, you know and and the other thing is you must you must close down the application like this okay now if you double click on the Mobi file you will actually see the changes all right um, over here we have the content area so you can always click that and this is the uh, this is actually built into the device so you can always go to you know you can jump to sections just like you will be able to via the um, uh, the table of contents you can go here and then you can just click on any of those uh, many options okay so that is it now in the the next section what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this uh, file into the Kindle viewer and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like okay guys I hope you can see this now I'm gonna do a little bit of a juggling act but here is the book this is my wife's Kindle fire and here is the book already loaded I'll click on it and it takes me into the book okay and I'm gonna to touch this so now we have the copyright page and we'll go to the table of contents so hopefully you can see the table of contents here and if we click on say broccoli recipe so we go right here and you can see that the recipe is good we can flick the pages and then we can go right into the read customer review so if I click on that it takes me right to the customer reviews and I can return back okay let me go back to the um, customer reviews return okay so we come back here all right so let's go next now here if you if you notice this a lot of people say hey the bullets don't line up well if you remember I told you that Kindle is really um, a browser like uh, product or a device so the current font setting on this device is making this uh, content look like this so what you want to do is you want to go down to um, let me just go down to where it says um, the font icon here we click on the font icon and right now the font style is set up okay so if I choose the smallest one and we go back to the page you can see that the uh, all the bullets line up now so this is something that you really want to be careful with now I've only um, set up this as a uh, you know as a two column ingredient but this is something that you really want to uh, be aware of when you're creating your ebook okay so let's go here and now we see the um, the recipe for the chocolate as you see everything linear looks really nice so just be aware of that and see this um, the title now another thing you're gonna notice is that Kindle justifies everything so if you notice here Kindle justifies so even if this was left justified 
Kindle as justified, okay? So that's something else that you cannot control. All right. So let's go to the final one. Now the final one here is really something that you know is exciting, and this is simply that you know we did create a border around the table, and here's the ingredients. Now one thing that you might notice that this is kind of slightly above this text here. Um, we can easily um, fix this by playing around with the formatting. But once again, it all depends on the font that you choose. Okay, so if we go back here, we go into the font, we select this font, and we come back. The um, the formatting is not as good as it was before. Okay, so see, it's actually coming to this area, which is on the second virtual page. And then we come to the reviews. So here are the reviews, right? And then we can always go back if we click on those links. So that's it. That is the recipe book. And um, let's go back to the uh, the computer. And I'm going to show you how you upload this to Kindle. Okay. So in this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to publish your um, your uh, Kindle uh, ebook. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create an account on Amazon KDP. So just type in Amazon KDP in Google, and the first link you get to, you want to click on that link. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, log into um, my account okay and um, the first thing you want to do is um, he, here's a sample account I don't have a lot of books in here actually but um, what you want to do here is you want to add a new title so we click on add a new title okay and then it's going to go through and it's going to talk about um, let me just make this a little bit lower so we can actually see this alright there you go okay so first of all, um, introduc introducing KDP Select. KDP Select is it's a, it's an optional program, um, but it gives the uh, opportunity of uh, the Amazon readers to actually download your book and try it out. And I would say that this is a really good idea, but you really need to think about when you want to offer it for free. Um, but anyway, we should enroll in this book select. Okay, so I would say enroll in this. Okay, and then we want to give it a title. Now, the title should def should always match the title of your book in the metadata. So I always take the title from here. Make sure that it matches. So paste that in there, and then this this book is not going to be a series so we don't have to worry about this or the edition number now the publisher once again I'm going to oops I'm going to um, this one and I'm gonna pick publisher is Prava mystery and I'll paste it in there now for the description um, we are just going to put in a description like this but 4,000 characters are allowed. So Prava's recipe with this book is loaded with my most uh, deli delicious res recipes and more. Now the reason I'm typing this in is because there isn't a minimum requirement for um, for the description so um, of course you will think of a really good description I'm just kind of making this up um, there are lots lots of recipes in the recipes okay so something like this and what we want to do now is we want to put in the author so we say add contributor and then give the author a name so Prabha mystery and we'll select author click save done English so now we have the uh, language is English 
publication date is optional this will actually be picked up from the metadata here so you can supply if you wish to by clicking that button and just selecting the current date if you wish ISBN they will assign an ISBN to you so don't worry about this leave this uh, blank now here verify your publishing rights because this is going to be our own uh, information we are just going to say this is not public domain okay and now target your book to customers so we can add categories so we'll click on categories and we are going to pick on something like cooking and then we'll go um, entertaining or something like that and we're going to go um, I don't know pick some pick something general like that okay click save of, of course you're gonna make you know you're gonna spend a lot more time than I am I just wanna kind of get on with it and now here for the keywords what we want to do is we want to transfer these keywords that you typed in here right in here so recipe food uh, recipe recipe ebook and they allow you up to seven uh, keywords here so you can type in followed by a comma now here it says upload a, a upload or create a book cover okay so a lot of people ask me that oh you've already specified a cover here so why do I have to upload and my answer is that um, you should always upload uh, an image um, for this and that is because that they use the Amazon can use either one of them and they use it for creating a thumbnail etc but I just like to upload because I think it's a, a good idea okay so I'm gonna upload this now I'm hoping this is going to work okay so here is my recipe uh, cover book I'm going to click open and I'm gonna say upload image now this might take a few seconds and I do hope this works because before it kind of didn't okay that's great now this is work now here is where the issue is so if I click close oh I guess they fixed the issue before this thing this image really didn't show up but I guess they fixed it over the few weeks alright now for the magic upload your book okay so we are not do not enable digital rights management we do not want this option because we want to distribute this book to as many uh, people as possible I don't I never choose this enable option I always choose this one and now we're gonna browse for the book and the book is right here Moby this Moby book and once again a lot of people ask me that Amazon allows you to upload EPUB, HTML, MS Word and PDF but the reality is that Amazon actually converts all those into Mobi so I only recommend that you upload Mobi at the very least if you want to upload an EPUB file go ahead but I would not upload anything more than that if you want to guarantee that your uh, your book is going to look exactly the way you designed it in ultimate ebook creator and your formatting is good so let me go ahead and upload the book okay now I hope now I'm gonna delete this book okay but I hope that Amazon doesn't detect that this is plagiarized information and like I said this is not a real book it's just a sample that I'm creating and I will of course I'll be taking it off as soon as I've um, recorded this video and um, let, let's just wait until it's converted okay so there we go upload and conversion successful Ch spell check there were zero possible spelling errors so this is something new this never used to be there so that's really good now you can preview your book so you can use the online previewer if you want personally I don't really use this because you know it really doesn't give you 
100% uh, accurate uh, preview so I don't bother with this um, I will just gonna move on to the next so if you want to preview yes but please don't send me uh, you know support ticket saying oh how come my book doesn't look right I would I would highly recommend just using the desktop viewer which does a really good job so let's save and continue alright so here comes the um, uh, the wonderful options of pricing and things like that okay so once again we wanna have worldwide rights right so we wanna choose this option worldwide okay and then for this the, now a lot of people um, get a little bit confused as what to choose so please select a royalty option for your book so 35 uh, percent and 70 percent now remember you can change all this later on okay so once the book is published you can always come back and make changes but beware as soon as you make a change it goes back into review so Amazon does review your book okay so what I normally do is when I publish a book first um, I will select 35 percent and that's only because I can set a price between 99 cents and two hundred dollars if I, if I picked 70% royalty for me then my book has to be between 2.99 and 10 dollars okay so when you launch a book um, if you want reviews and you know if you want people to review then you you got to make it really easy for them to buy the book so I would suggest initially for the first couple of weeks or so until you start getting sales you leave this at 99 cents okay and then um, provide price must be zero okay all right here we go all right so we'll say 35 percent we'll leave it at 99 cents and then we're gonna come back here um, in a couple of weeks and then we're gonna see the sales and then we're gonna go back to 70 percent and then up the price to at least um, you know three dollars and four cents that's a magical number for me um, I find that a lot of books uh, a lot of my books as soon as I set that price point they do sell so three dollars and four cents is a good selling point after the fact but then you can uh, acquire seventy percent royalty okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say set everything all these to the same alright so here's by checking this box you were actually setting all the all of them to the same so all these different uh, Amazon sites in the different locations will be selling it at equivalent of 99 cents US okay allow lending of this book now I would definitely see this you know I I always check this option on but once again you gotta be careful when you select this where when you want to allow the lending so I'm not gonna go through uh, a lot of this um, uh, you can read it here but you know you should be able you should check this option and lend the books okay for now I'm gonna leave it off by clicking this and saving below I confirm that you know basically it's just you know you're confirming everything you click OK here and then you click save and publish initiating publishing see so basically everything worked and it says be aware it can take up to 12 hours for English and 40 hours for other languages and back to bookshelf so see here this this uh, this dialog box should actually go in underneath if you can see it says successful so we'll click that there you go called Prabha's recipe book all right Prabha's recipe book and if you look at the status of this book it's in review alright so this is in review so if you come back in 12 hours time usually it doesn't take 12 hours maybe like more like four hours or something four to five four to eight hours you come back and you will find that this has been approved but okay so that was it that's the whole cycle so I demonstrated how you can create an ebook using the ultimate ebook creator and showing it uploaded in the Kindle Fire 
and also how you can publish it on Kindle KDP or I should say Amazon KDP.